Degree, don't degree, noodles, don't noodles. Noodles, don't noodles. Everyone has an opinion on degrees in cybersecurity, mainly employers and Reddit. I'm not going to talk about whether you need one or you don't need one, but I am going to talk about my experience getting that traditional college piece of paper. And now that I'm a SOC analyst, all the things that I regret looking back. I'm going to talk about the three most important things that looking back I would do different and that I recommend you do if you are a college student or want to get a degree in cybersecurity. Do I really regret anything? No. Life is too short for regrets. But if I were to do it again, would I do things differently? Yeah, absolutely. I graduated in 2023 with a degree from Indiana University in informatics and a cognate in cybersecurity. And if you take nothing else from this video, the single greatest piece of advice that I can give you is to get an internship. If you don't already have experience, do that program. Go to those job fairs, do an internship. This is practical, hopefully paid, work experience that will be huge leverage when you're trying to get a job and start your career in cybersecurity. Relevant experience is the number one thing that employers look for, especially in the entry level market, and it will make a huge difference when you're trying to start your career. It'll set you apart from so many of the other candidates. I did not do an internship when I was in college, and it made it much harder to get hired once I got out because I didn't have any paid work experience. Internships not only look great on your resume, but they are a real world practical experience where you can learn, and there's a good chance it might even lead to a permanent position at the company. It's a cheat code. Take it seriously. If I could go back and tell myself one thing before I shipped off to college, it would be that having the opportunity to get a degree is a blessing and being able to go to college is a privilege. Cybersecurity is relatively new, especially when I went and not all universities even offer education in it. So consider yourself lucky. A lot of people do not get that kind of opportunity and they would kill for it. So if you have the chance and that's what you choose, take it seriously, take advantage of it and don't f it up. By this, I mean, when you do your work, do it to learn, not to just finish something that was assigned to you, not to just turn something in. Pay attention and take advantage of all the amazing resources that you're going to have at your disposal. Get involved, do extracurriculars, and take hard classes. You might never get the chance again to learn some of these high-level topics and learn from great professors. This is probably the only time in your life you're going to be in this environment, and it's a breeding ground for a wealth of knowledge. There's so much to be learned, and you're going to get what you put in, which is a double-edged sword. Also, document your important projects because they will look great on your resume. And remember the point that this is to help you start your career and get a permanent job once you get out. Network. We all know how important networking is, but seriously, this could be the only time in your life where you're around so many other like-minded people doing the same thing. And it's the easiest time and place to start building your network, start building connections with both your professors and your peers and other students. You never know what's gonna happen in the future. You might end up working adjacent or working with them, or they might be able to help you get a job. You never know, and that's the point of building a network. And if I had to do it again, this would be one of the most important things that I focus on. Many of your peers and or professors have done great things or will go on to do great things. And building a network is hard to do. It only gets harder. And this is the easiest time and place to start doing that. I did a lot of things right. And I didn't know really until after I got out that I wanted to be in the cybersecurity field. But like many things in life, the bottom line is you're going to get out what you put in. So explore classes, try new things. Looking back, one of the most valuable classes I took was actually one of my least favorites at the time. It was a mathematics of cryptography. It was the hardest class I took throughout college, but looking back, that's what makes it so valuable to me. I was forced to push myself to get out of my comfort zone and learn. And looking back, I wish I would have done a lot more of that. So push yourself, make the effort. It'll be worth it. If you're watching this and you're working on your degree, keep pushing. You got it. I'm rooting for you. Check out my other video if you want to know more about how to get a job in cybersecurity and leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see next. I don't even know what to say.